Okay, here's some of the chords you wanted for Save the Best for Last. I'm going to use my uh, still string acoustic so you can... Uh, well, I'm going to go through these kind of quick, but I'm going to use the still string acoustic so you can see the dots, so you can count the frets a little better. It starts, uh, first of all, you're tuned to an E flat, so you want to tune your guitar down a half step, such as Eddie Van Halen does and other players. Um, but anyway, your first chord starts out an E major triad. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking in shapes here. We're, we're modulating this to E right now, so I'm just going to call it an E. So, And it's basically just this E chord, but you're using just this piece of it. Alright, now you're going to go to this chord right here, which is a B. Alright, you might know this way. We're going to use this B right here, th these fingers. And we're going to put this F sharp in the bass right here. These are pieces of chords. You don't have to play whole chord voicings. Uh, sometimes you just play little pieces and actually get more out of them. So um, here's the A. So it goes B. Now we're going to an A. That's just a regular typical A. But uh, once again, the B is the lowest. Uh, the, the E is the lowest note in the chord. Now I'm going to hammer on this sharp 11, which is the, the D sharp note. So you got this so far. And I went back to the E after that, so that's just an E chord, a piece of an E. And now we're going luckily you get to hit two of the strings here, a B and an E. fifth fret, the A note. I don't remember which part of the song I'm at. Okay, and now this chord right here ends up being like a, once again, I like to talk in simple terms. So this is like an F chord moved up to the fifth fret, bar into the fifth fret. But we're going to put the ninth on the top, an F add nine. But I'm going to do it this way. I don't need this extra root right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this voicing right here. All I'm going to do is the top three strings and the bass note. So we got a C sharp, an E, and a B. And I'm only going to pluck those strings. And you can embellish this any way you want. I'm just showing you the chords I used. So I'm dropping this third down to a ninth on the G string. The only note that's changing is the G string note. And now it goes to... B sus, so resolve into a regular B. And I hope you can see that's just a regular B. I'm using a sus first, sus four to a B. And now the bass is going to move up to C sharp. And this is a just a D major major six. So kind of like this chord if you've ever played it. be like one five one three six but I'm just playing an open D string and I'm getting D D F sharp and B and now this chord this is you could call this a couple of different things it's a C sharp minor seven sharp five because it looks like a minor 7, but sharp to 5. Or you could look at it as an A major. First inversion with a third in the bass, but adding the ninth. And by the way, you can play this chord like this. I think I played on the video like this. Let me show you that version. It's actually easier. An A, open B, a high E, and then I'll put this C sharp in the bass. I'm not doing anything with the D string or the E, the low E. And now I'm going to hit the top three string, top two strings, and then you're going to hear the bass go. So you got. So let me go through that whole section.
now when it comes to the verse. All right, so you're going to do the same thing again. The E triad. And now you're going to go to this chord right here, which is really, it's a B. You could do it that way. But sometimes if I'm not going to play this G string, a note on the G string, I'll just leave it out of the chord, especially if I'm finger picking. If I'm strumming, I'll, I'll mute it. So I'll mute it out of there. So you can play it like this. One, five, three. That's okay, so you got a B, F sharp, and you're skipping over the G string to get that D sharp. So it's going to go like this. And now you're going to an A. Basically the same thing you did in the beginning, except for now you're putting it a little bit, you're putting the bass notes in it. This chord right here ends up being an E, but we're putting the third in the bass. If you take an E chord, stick your pinky out at the fourth fret. That's called an E first inversion, you're putting the third in the bass. So we're going to play that chord, but we're going to drop the note that's on the A string. So we're going to go like this. G sharp. Skipping over the A string, we're not playing the A string at all. The E note, G sharp, and the open B. Alright, and now you're going to go to uh, the B and the E open, and then the fifth fret, A note. Now this is an A major 7. I got, I'm barring an A chord. You might play an A like this. I guess you could do it like that. You gotta reach out here and get this G sharp. But I would rather just bar that. All right, now I'm gonna go to a B once again, but now the melody's on top, so it's on the high E, so I'm gonna do it this way. Once again, mute the G string. You're not gonna pluck the G string at all there. and I hit an open E and then I go to the C sharp minor. You should know this chord if you ought to um, study the cage system if you haven't studied the cage system. If you don't understand chords it's real important. Um, this is basically just an A chord, A minor. Okay, see the A minor chord? I'm just going to take that chord and put a bar on it using different fingers. Move it up one fret. My first finger is acting as the nut. This nut right here. Now if I move it up, first finger is acting as kind of a capo. Okay, and if you get the Cage System book that, that, at PoolMusicProductions.com, you can you'll see how the Cage System works, and it'll really help you with your chords. It does tremendous work for my chords. Trust me, and I thought I knew everything I needed to know, and I didn't. So, but anyway, um, I had learned a different version. So uh, the cage system just gave me a new outlook on things. So, but anyway, let's see. So this chord is basically like an A minor shape, but it ends up being a C sharp minor chord. And all you guys probably and girls most probably know this chord. All right, now you're gonna lift up your pinky and you're gonna get this E major triad. It's already in the chord you're holding. So, and now you're going back to this B, but this time you want the high E string the second fret, that high E string, to be playing the melody. And then you hit the open A, or open E string. You go to an A chord, and you want the, the open E string to be ring known out. You're going to play the G sharp note, and then you're going to go to this E chord right here. Now this chord right here, I played this before in the video, but it goes E, E, so we're going to play the notes in one time. Open E. Second fret on the D, uh, the D string, which is the E note again, and then you got an open B string, and then you got on the first string you're playing the second fret, and you're going to hammer that note on to the fourth fret, and now you're going to go the open B and the open E, 